I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Immuno Project. We here at the Immuno Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And I've been recently presented by some of my acquaintances, by some of my friends, and in my own life, um, grappling uh, with the uh, commandment of Kibbut Av Ve'em, honoring your father. And your mother. It is interesting that the Torah does not say love your father and your mother. It does not say obey your father and your mother. It says to honor them. So the question, of course, is to what extent? To what degree the, of covet, of, of, of honor, respect that uh, you have to accord to a parent? And I'm talking in this instance specifically of an elderly. Uh, parent who, due to advanced age or illness, uh, has a serious mental capacity. There's a, there's a diminished mental capacity uh, to the point uh, where there's a serious issue with respect to extreme hardship uh, for the children, uh, financially, um, psychologically, emotionally, uh, as sons and daughters, husband and wives. How much does one have to sacrifice for a parent? And it will come as no surprise to you that there are a variety of responses. Um, sometimes a parent will become abusive. Sometimes, chas uh, v'sholem, a parent will become violent. How far does one have to go? How far? How much can a person take? It was um, Harav Yitzhak uh, Zilberstein <clears throat> uh, he, who posed the question to several uh, scholars and poskim, uh, some great uh, halachic uh, arbiters, uh, determiners of, uh, of Jewish law of his generation. And the answer he generally received was, a son or daughter must do for their parents to the same extent, to the same degree that the parents uh, will do for them. In other words, a parent sacrifices for his children, a children's sacrifice um, uh, for the parents. Gratitude, appreciation, we owe them. We owe the parents because they've done for us. Um, it was uh, Harav um, Eliashev who said, no, a child has a greater, a, a child's obligation goes beyond what a parent does for a child. There's no comparison. Uh, and he cites the, the Rambam, uh, Rev, Rabbi Moses uh, Maimonides, Rabbi Moses Maimon, uh, who said that as, as much as the son, the child can physically endure. You go to the, as far as you can physically endure, physically I, pres I presume means financially as well. What about emotionally? What about to the point where the caring for the parent or the parents is taking a, call, a toll not only financially and in terms of a person's physical ability, but it's taking a psychological and emotional toll as well. How far, how much can a person take? There's no doubt that taking care of an elderly and mentally um, diminished parent um, can be an overwhelming, overwhelming burden. So the response to how much can I take is, is an individual one. Um, people react differently uh, to this burden and they must acknowledge and realize when they are acting appropriately. And in the Talmud, in Masech the Kedushin, uh, Chazal, our sages, uh, give an example. This is a, a son who's providing food for his father, and he gets all sorts of gourmet food, delicacies, the top of the top food for his father. And he puts the food in front of his father. The father, who realizes this is this, these delicacies, these these uh, these foodstuffs, this is gourmet level stuff. And he asks the son, how can you afford 
to, to bring me all this wonderful, fantastic food. How do you do it? How do you can afford it? The child's response, what do you care? What does it matter to you? It's not like you're paying for it. Just eat it. That child loses out on any points, for lack of a better word, that he gets for that mitzvah of kibudav because of his bitter response. He's doing the mitzvah, he's doing the commandment of honoring uh, the father by providing him with, with excellent, more than uh, excellent food. But that, that obligation is met with a certain degree of uh, bitterness. And so we have this paradox, paradoxical attitude uh, within a human being. On the one hand, he's seeking to provide for his father with the, the best of the best. On the other hand, the manner in which he offers the food to the father, um, it um, bespeaks of a certain disdain, maybe even, God forbid, cruelty. Possibly the son has spent more than he could have, more than he should have. And it's starting to have an adverse uh, effect on him and on the relationship. He's got to come to terms with this. He's got to come to terms with the cost of the food. And um, he begins to, to resent, chas v'shalom, God forbid, he begins to resent the father for placing him in such a position. Um, such combinations of obligation and resentments, uh, love, hate, joy, bitterness, they can coexist to a certain degree um, when the situation becomes overwhelming. I am not going to pretend to, be, to have the answer here when, God forbid, you're in uh, this position, especially uh, people of my vintage, people who are in their uh, mid-60s and they have parents in their 80s and 90s. Um, when you're reaching that point, don't wait for you to get to that point. When you're reaching that point, consult your local orthodox, uh, orthodox rabbi. Uh, get some help. Get some advice. Um, don't wait until you crack. Don't be like that child. Um, in Masek the Kedushin, the tractate Kedushin, um, who does all he can to bring wonderful things for his father, but when asked, his bitterness shows, the mask falls a little bit and he reveals that uh, yeah he may be physically going through the moves of honoring the father but uh, the strain is starting to show um, we also have to remember what goes around comes around the way our children see us treating our parents may very well be the way they treat us they may not do what we say, but they sure are watching what we're doing. And um, what goes around comes around. And sometimes you may pay for the disrespect you have for your parents by having that disrespect visited on yourself. Chas v'sholem. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're getting something from these videos. I hope they're of some inspiration. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.